What's going on guys? Today marks the day I'm gonna start doing something a little bit different. Oh, this a little different. Yeah, we about to get in. Hmm. Oh, this a little different. So I've decided to dedicate this channel to things that interest me. And when I say that, that means not everything on here is gonna be car stuff. In fact, probably it's going to be less than 50% car stuff and mostly stuff that I personally care about because this is my personal channel. So it will be things that interest me as a person. Now, one thing some of you guys probably didn't know about me, um, I actually went to college for two semesters, as did Chow. And um, I was going for mechanical engineering, but at the same time, I wanted to go to a college in Aurora, Colorado, and it was a college for renewable energy. That renewable energy, some of you OG fans on this channel know that I am just, I'm soup, I love renewable energy. However, today's video isn't gonna be about renewable energy. Today, I'm working on some DIY aquaponics. For those of you guys that don't know what aquaponics is, it's a method of gardening that combines um, aquaculture and hydroponics to create this symbiotic environment in which you know the plants help the fish and the fish help the plants. It is like a self-sustaining loop is the easiest way to word it. So I saw a video on YouTube of a guy who did it for under 10 bucks, DIY, did it right in his backyard, did the whole thing right in front of the camera, which really inspired me to do it this way with the, uh, with the water jug. There's plenty of ways you could do this. Um, there's more elaborate setups. Um, there's more, more elegant setups that look better. But for today, for my first ever aquaponics build, Yes, I'm calling this a build. I'm gonna do it the old jug way. This is super cheap, probably the cheapest way you could do it with one of these jugs. So first thing you gotta do is kinda cut this in half. You wanna separate this top portion with this neck. Um, you need to have a decent amount exposed so that um, th this is where the grow is gonna happen. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut this probably along this line here and then um, this bottom half will be for the fish. So here we have the cut. Um, it didn't come out the best. It's kind of uneven right here, but boom, look at that. You get, it's the right shape. Just see what I mean by like the handle part is a little bit higher. Not too worried about that because it will function properly still. Top piece looks really good. So next step here is I have to, well, first I'm gonna paint this because um, if you don't paint this, this is where the plants are gonna be growing. So if this is up here, and this is where the plants are growing, you have to paint it so that algae doesn't grow in there with the plants. So that this is gonna be suspended up here, draining into here. This is where the water and the fish will go. There'll be a pump, runs up here, and then the pump will be pumping the fish water into the grow bed here. This will act as our grow bed. This is where I will be growing stuff. I just cleaned the plastic shavings out of the top half. I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint it with some of the leftover paint that I had from doing my wheels. This is also an important step too because I will be reusing this cap right here on this spray can. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start spraying down some paint on here. Once again, um, this is to prevent algae growth in your grow bed so that no light can get into here. While I have the paint on the grow bed drying, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the legs for, um, to hold the grow bed over the, uh, where the fish go. So I have this square tubing left over from when we did the simulator builds and I've marked out a 20 and a quarter inch piece. So I'm gonna cut out three 
20 and a quarter inch pieces, which will leave me plenty extra here, so that um, these will be the legs to hold this whole operation up. So now that the legs are cut out, I can kind of show you guys a little bit closer of the shape that I'm trying to accomplish here. So you go ahead and you put the grow bed kind of like that. And then uh, looks something like this, but I kind of have to hover it there because I don't have any of the mount mounting points done yet. So what I'm gonna do for mounts now is, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drill a set of holes on the legs, so it'll probably be something like one hole here and then one hole on the inside edge, which will correspond with two holes on the fish tank, and then you'll run a zip tie through the metal, through the little bin thingy, and then zip tie it so that it kind of holds its little triangular shape here. <laughs> Now that I have the bottom holes on the legs drilled out, because you do have to make two more holes at the top for the grow bed, I also have the holes drilled out for the, um, the tank here. So I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how my way is gonna hold this together. So kind of curve the zip tie a little bit so that you could stick it in one end and it comes out the other. And then you're going to go ahead and loop it through here. You're going to be left with something that looks along the lines of this. And it's actually really sturdy. Check that out. With that zip tie all tightened up, it definitely moves with the jug. Which is really good because this is kind of a sturdy way to do it. So when you have the legs on all three sides, it's going to be kind of planted. I am probably going to put this on a desk or a table in my room. Go ahead now, take the zip tie off, did this to show you guys how to mount it. I want to paint these legs nice and white, nice and frosty so it looks pretty. And then uh, before I paint it, I'm actually going to drill the remaining two holes on this. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same dual holes on the fish tank on the grow bed. So now we're like kind of at the halfway point. I have all my holes drilled out on all the legs. I have the holes drilled out on the tank, and I have the holes drilled out on the grow bed. So now I'm going to throw another layer of paint on the grow bed, just so that it doesn't scratch too easily. And then I'm going to go ahead and paint the legs here the same white that I am uh, painting this with, just to save a little bit of money. I don't want to go out and buy another can of paint, and I already have the half full can of paint from painting my wheels. So reduce, reuse, recycle. I strung the legs up from the garage door, covered the back of my car so I don't get any after spray. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly paint these. I'm not too worried about, you know, how good they come out per se. I just want them not gross and rusty looking. Got the legs all nice, white, and frosty. Got that second coat of paint on the grow bed. So while this paint is drying, I'm going to swing by our local Harbor Freight and I'm going to grab our water pump. This little fountain pump here, super cheap, ultimate budget DIY here. I swear these coupons are the come up. I just got that pump for seven bucks. This pump came with two fitting sizes, a super tiny one and then a half inch one, which is the one that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna run to Lowe's real quick and then I'm gonna grab a 
half inch hose to run the fish tank water up to the grow bed. I hate how it's starting to get dark so early. It's like 5.30 right now, but it's still warm. It's like, Florida's such a weird like experience. It's great though. I like how I don't have to wear a jacket ever. Browsing through the potting soil area because I will be needing a little bit of soil and a little bit of gravel to make this work. Going with this budget $1.97 bag to keep the cost down. All right, so now on to what I actually want to grow. I want to grow chives. So when I was younger, my dad had chives out in the backyard and I loved them. I used to go out there, pick them, and eat them. So I'm going to try two things here. I'm gonna get a chive plant that's already growing and I'm gonna plant it in the aquaponics system. And I'm also going to try and grow my own from seeds and see how well that works. Find the thickest plant here. It's not gonna be that one. It's probably gonna be this one in the middle. I also love dill. So I'm gonna grab a dill plant. I'm not gonna try and grow dill from a seed though. I'm just gonna grab one of the plants. This is all looking real good so far. Here's the uh, tubing that's gonna run from the fish tank to the grow bed. Probably gonna grab about four or five feet of this just to have some extra. It's about 45 cents a foot, but I'm gonna show you what's good here. That's the piece of the pump, perfect fit. Before I take off, I'm actually gonna grab one more live chive plant. We'll grab this guy. We got the arsenal here. This is about to be a really nice aquaponic system here. Now I'm gonna head home and assemble the aquaponic system. I got the legs here mounted to the base. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the top piece. All right, guys, I'm like, this is the point where I'm like really excited because it's like finally taken shape. This is what, this is the basic shape, like basic layout that, um, that it will take. So right now I need to do a few things at this point. We need to take a step back and we need to have a little chat about this paint cap right here. So this paint cap is going to act as a siphon. I'm gonna hot glue it in right there after I drill some holes in the top, and what that will do is allow water to accumulate about whatever this distance is right here, possibly an inch, whatever the distance from the bottom of this is to the top of that. So this will allow water to accumulate in here and then drain over through the holes in the cap so that the water level will be uniform across the, the entire grow bed. So you, what you do is you fill this whole thing with gravel and then you fill that gravel with water and then the excess water will drain through these holes, which is really important because you don't wanna flood your plants out and you need drainage. And if you didn't have this, then all of it would just fall through the hole. So this is super important here. Um, I might even go ahead and possibly cut this in half so it's a little bit shorter um, because this is kinda short, but for the most part, this is a siphon. I know some people like really advanced siphons like bell siphons and stuff where you have a tube coming up and then there's like a slit in the top a slit in the bottom and then a larger tube sits over that tube there's like there's way more complicated ways to do this but this is hands down the easiest way I've seen on the internet glue this cap down drill the holes in it done you have a siphon set up right there and then um, after I get that in there, I have to install the pump stuff. And then after that, after the pump and that is in there, this is ready for water, fish, gravel, dirt, and plants. I'm really excited, this is sick. Getting the glue gun all warmed up. I actually found a different paint cap from a can of black spray paint over there that was a little bit easier to cut. I didn't want to cut with the grinder, so I'm actually cutting with a pair of dykes, and this is super easy to cut, so I'm gonna take about this much off of it all the way around. <laughs> So these holes don't really need to be in any specific order or fashion or pattern. Um, you just want semi-adequate flow, which what you're seeing right here, if you're trying to attempt this on your own, is 
probably more than adequate, so this will do. The siphon part is now complete. Um, I would recommend using a generous amount of glue here. I use two glue sticks um, gluing this down and the reason being is you want to ensure that this is never going to move on you and to just tell like by wiggling the siphon around it's moving the entire thing. That's how you know it's really planted on there. Alright so now for the fun part. I get to start plumbing the pump. After the pump is plumbed I get to add the gravel the water, the fish, and the plants. So basically, you take your little pump guy here. This is a fully submergible pond pump. You get that to sit at the bottom of your tank right there. Let me get this light on. You get this to sit at the bottom of your tank, and then you plug your hose in. And then I did this cool thing, since this jug has a handle, I ran the hose through the handle and it comes up. And then it's going to come to right about here. I'm going to cut this. I got a little bit extra just so I wouldn't have too little. And then I'm just going to zip tie the hose right there. And all it needs to do is pour the water into the grow bed. It doesn't need to be in any specific pattern or fashion or anything. It just has to pour into here, which is sick. All right, so we are officially ready for gravel, fish, water, and plants. Got the tube ran and zip tied down. As you can see, all it is is just angled down into the grow bed. That's all it is, is just right down straight into the grow bed. Nothing crazy. Pumps down there. And all you do is you just plug it on in, any regular house outlet. All right, so we found our budget substitute for gravel. Um, this is a little bit more cost effective than gravel, and that's what we're going for here is cost effectiveness. Got these river pebbles is what they're called on the packaging. All right, so the fish that I'm gonna run in the tank I want one of these little algae eaters right here. See that guy that's stuck to the side of the glass? See his little mouth? He's licking algae off of the glass. Want one of those. Hey, there's another one right there. Probably gonna get some of these. I'm doing some research here, reading all of these little labels here, and the algae eaters have a certain number of fish they are compatible with, so I'm gonna pick up four tiger barbs and one algae eater. These are the little tiger barb guys. Check these little guys out. Tonight. No, dude, these are my aquaponics fish, man. You can't eat them. I was holding the fishies. I'm actually really excited to, to put the finishing touches on the system. Carlos is like, what's going on in here? Now for the fun part. Now that your the rig is basically assembled, that's I guess what this would be called, is your aquaponics rig, we have to add the meat and potatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop some of these river pebbles with this cup. I'm going to kind of scoop them up and then I'm going to put a one layer thick amount on the bottom of the fish tank. Not deep, just one like pebble depth thickness. I'm going to take these cups, I'm going to poke some holes in the bottom of them, like probably all the way up to halfway up the cups and then I'm gonna fill them with soil, and these will act as, imagine a bunch of little holes in this, and they will act as like, kind of like flower pots. And then I'm gonna rest them in here, like probably four or five in there, and then fill the remaining space to the top with the rock stuff. So here I have my cups prepped with holes about, uh, I did them like a third of the way up so that uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of this out so that these can sit near the bottom so that these holes are, like I said, they're a third up. So technically, if the cups are touching the bottom, they will be submerged um, as far as the siphon goes, or as far as high as the siphon goes, I should say. And then the whole top will be dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start transferring the plants into the cups with this fresh soil here. There is some like fertilizer stuff in there. I don't, you could see those white dots. 
Um, I'm going to try and get some of that out of there because when you have an aquaponics system, you don't need to run fertilizer because the fish is what is fertilizing your plants. So I'm going to get these out and I'm going to put them into fresh soil. Made a small mess in my room, but that's why I laid the bag down here. Check this out. I got the cups with the plants installed into the cups. I also added a shit ton more holes to the bottom edge. Like the lower one third has, um, has so many holes in it now because I just want ample water flow. So what I'm gonna do now is fill. I, I went ahead and I took all of the gravel out of the top just so I could set the cups in properly and set them at the right height. Now I'm gonna go ahead and carefully sprinkle these measured cups into the uh, into the top, into the grow bed to fill all of these gaps in here. Technically, I don't think I have to do that, but I just want to for aesthetics and maybe they'll hold the cups in place, but they hold themselves in there really good and we got the tube going right in. All right, this is the moment. I got the top 100% set up. As you can see, I got the gravel all the way around the cups. They're kind of holding the cups in place. They're doing a really good job at it. Kind of filled it probably, uh, I want to say to the brim around for the most part. Um, so I planted the onion seeds in these two cups right here, which are, this is, this is exactly what I planted for anyone wondering. Planted these right here in these two cups and then we got chives, chives, and dill. So um, we will be, or not we, I guess. Yeah, we, I guess I could say, but I will be periodically updating you guys on the status of these two plants here because I really wanted to, I did want plants right away, and I also wanted to grow my own from seeds. So I will now be adding the water and the fish. So I have the pump fully submerged now and I'm gonna plug it in for the first time and see what happens here Let's see oh we already have water flow look at that look at that hold on shit let me get the light we have a smooth step whoa come on get that light on there look at that Yes, we have life. We have life. Look at that nice, steady water flow coming out of that tube. Oh, yeah. This is sick. Look at that flow. Oh, my God. This is so awesome. And look at that. The siphon is putting in mad work. You see no water leveling. Oh, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of puddle right there. See that? Shit, hold on. Let me kind of hold the light so that I can point at it. Look at this water level right here. As you notice, it does not exceed that point right there on the uh, on the the top the grow bed because that's the height of the siphon. This is so cool. All right, so it's almost time to add the fishies. I'm uh, draining this old water out of the bag so that I can release the fish into their new environment. Um, you don't want to dump out this water that's in this bag with the fish in it into the new water because you don't really know what this like pet store Walmart water's got in it. They might be using some weird shit in the water, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drain most of the water out right about to the point where they're flopping around. And then I am going to really quickly run in there and release them into their new environment. Dude, this is so dope. Shit. Hold on. I, I lost the hole. There it is, okay. I'm gonna release, ready? Yeah, I'm gonna release them into their new environment. Oh, one of the algae eaters is stuck. Oh, there he goes. All right, look at that. All right, so the water is kind of murky. It's not dirty water because yeah. Um, it's murky because these are river pebbles. There's still sediment on the rocks from rivers. Um, I'm not sure if that's ever going to clean up, but 
I just want you guys to know that this is not like dirty, gross water. This is really clean water with legitimate river sediment in the water. That's why it's a little bit murky. So now that the aquaponic system is officially up and running, I'm going to go ahead and clean my nasty mess that I just made up. And then I will get back to you guys, which is probably going to take me about 30 minutes because I'm going to clean the carpet and stuff too. But for you, it'll be one second. Alright, it's the next morning. The aquaponic system is functioning beautifully. We've still got very adequate water flow. The water level is still uniform with the siphon. And every single fish is still alive. I just saw them all. I don't know where they went. Oh, right there. I don't know if, there you go. You can see them in there. Um, but one thing I want to change, or do at least, is... I kind of want to make a sediment filter and run it for a few days, see if I could get some of the sediment out of the water, because um, there was a lot of sediment. I went and I look. I have the bag of river rocks right there, and I like grabbed some, and each rock has a ton of sediment on it. So I kind of want to put a sediment filter in here. All I'm gonna do is just kind of get another one of these pumps, pump the water out from like the middle and then just pour it back in like onto a filter mechanism or like maybe just something real simple like that. But yeah, I just kind of want to clean the sediment out just so that you could see the fish easier because I think the fish are a really, really cool aspect of this whole thing and I would like to see them very clearly. use these wheel covers to make a bootleg sediment filter. Chow's quickly googling that 20% off coupon. Right there, there she is. So I got one of these cut out here and it's right there. I'm uh, kind of devising it right now. So I'm gonna kind of hang the new pump. I'm not gonna put it on the bottom like that one. And as you can see, the water is getting clearer and clearer, so I think this might be the uh, the finishing touch here that gets it real shiny. You know, this guy chilling. So I'm gonna put this like hovering in the side, probably this high, and I'm just gonna loop this hose around one of these legs, and it's just gonna pour back in, but it's gonna have to pass through this before it enters the water again. So I'm just trying to figure out if I should also make it filter this water too for a little bit and then once all most of the sediment is out of the water it will be clear look at how much sediment it's already collected I think I've had it on for all of 30 seconds maybe a minute and as you can see it's collecting a lot of sediment I got the second pump just kind of hanging in there like that tube comes out and then spits out right there Seems to be working pretty good. I have essentially made like a coffee filter for the top. The water in here is starting to get a little bit murky, so that's how I know it's really working. All right, so I've had this filter going for quite some time now. It's nighttime now, um, and the water is much, much more clear than last night. You can actually see the fish now. Remember last night? couldn't even see the fish because the water was so cloudy. It's about midnight. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble the little filter thing because it's been running all day. And the filter is dirty and it's really murky. The water up top's murky. So I'm gonna let this water that's in it drain out without letting the dirt fall back in. And then uh, I'm gonna take the filter pump out and take the hosing out and then yeah that's about as clear as the water is probably gonna get and analysis shows the wannabe sediment filter did work as you can see there is literally a dirty circle where it was actually filtering and I'm assuming this darker stuff here is that river sediment and then we got a little bit of plant sediment here a little bit of dirt. All right, it is the third day, and we have some sprouts going on in this cup right here. There's a sprout there, and change the lighting here. And there's a sprout right there. So 
Uh, like I said, these are going to be green onions, and I'm going to be doing the unlimited green onion hack where you let it grow out, snip it at the base, and then it grows out again. Also, all of the fish are alive, and the water is much, much nicer. This is probably about as nice as it's going to get. DIY aquaponics came out super awesome. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely expect more stuff on this channel like this. I'm really, really happy with the way this came out, and I'm actually devising up a way to make a much larger one that looks way nicer. And then uh, I really, really, really want to get this whole operation on solar, so it is 100% green, and I'm not, I don't have these things, these pumps plugged into the wall 24/7. So expect some stuff with solar later on on this channel. Solar is a little bit expensive, so um, you know it's going to take a second to get some of the required pieces, but these aquaponics setups here, I think I did this for all under $30, including the fish and all of the stuff you see here, which is really awesome because I will have, I will be able to come out here and just straight up pick one of these and then just eat it. like. I hope this change of pace doesn't offend anybody. Um, if you didn't like the video, I'm sorry, but if you did, cool, thank you. This is like some stuff that I actually care about. So, um, you know, like I said, this is my channel, so I will be doing things that I want to do, that I like, that I care about, that I'm passionate about. Um, that's not all going to be car stuff. And like I said in the beginning, it might not even be half car stuff. It might be less than half car stuff. So, we'll see where this channel goes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Today's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving.